Hi everyone, in this session we are going to learn how can we get a text from web browser and copy to the copy the content to a text box in C sharp programming language. Okay, for this we need a one web uh, one farm and then one web browser, one text box and one button. Okay, you can uh, go to toolbox uh, toolbox and then you can drag the web browser okay and then resize it okay and then you have you need one text box drag it here and then make the text box tasks multi-line okay then you need one text box uh, one button okay drag the button from the toolbox okay and then change the text I have the text like get selected text okay but the name of the button is default button one also the name of the text box is uh, text box one okay and then the web browser name is web browser one the default names I am using the default names okay okay now what we have to do first of all we are going to navigate okay double click on your farm okay when you double click on your farm it will create for you uh, farm one underscore load load event okay this will make a load event and then we are going to use our web browser name web browser dot we are going to use a navigate dot navigate and then round braces you have to give a round braces okay like this round braces and then semicolon okay in in between the round braces as you can see it's need a load a low uh, overloads okay then we are going to double quotation mark we will give between this uh, round braces give a double quotation mark between the uh, double quotation mark give give the URL okay I'm using this v Wikipedia URL okay main page okay you can paste URL over here okay now save it okay let's see if the, it's loading the web, web page now it's loaded the web page as you can see in the web browser okay now what we have to do we are going to add a reference in solution explorer select your project select a reference and then right click as you can see it's a add reference click on add reference and then assemblies frameworks and then in the search box type ms ms HTML okay MS HTML as you can see it's a Microsoft dot is MS HTML reference and then check the uh, checkbox okay check the checkbox and click OK this will load a reference to our uh, reference panel okay like uh, Microsoft dot MS HTML okay after that we need to use a namespace okay at the top of your farm okay if you cannot see the uh, see, see this uh, click on your forum and then view code okay and then we are using using ms okay ms html like this reference a uh, uh, namespace okay after that we have to click on our button double click on your buttons just wait I'm going to double click on my button this will create a event and uh, event for our click but uh, button click okay now I'm going to copy this code because I want this tutorial be quick okay okay now you can see there is two error one here and one here I will tell you why is this two error we are going to use a uh, uh, interface from our MS HD ms uh, html okay our microsoft uh, ms html we are going to use a uh, interface i html document 2 okay this is i html document 2 is a uh, interface of our html ms html okay we are going to this to get the document uh, html document then i we will give it name a variable name html document is equal then over here we have to give our web browser name 
okay we are going to give a web browser name web browser one dot document we will get document from web browser one document doom has as i html document two okay we are going to get from i html document two from our web browser okay html doc documents then we are using another uh, another uh, interface i html selection object this is for selection when you want to select a document uh, html documents from from web browser okay then we are using the variable name current selection is equal html do, uh, document dot selection property okay we are going to get the current selection from our html doc document okay variable name it's a, it's a variable name of i html document 2 okay we are going to get the dot selection okay selection property we are going to use a selection property of html doc the uh, html i html document 2 okay and then we are also going to create a range with the with the help of selection okay uh, i html selection object with the help of that we are going to use another interface i html txt range this is for range of the uh, uh, selection okay then we are going to give a range name uh, variable name range okay for our i i html uh, txt range we are going to give a variable name then is equal current selection this is our current selection okay variable name of uh, our i html selection object okay then we are going to create a range okay dot create range property we are going to use create a range has i html txt range okay and then we, we this will store in range okay then we are going to use if statement okay for our current selection okay if the current selection is equal uh, not equal to null okay for example if we don't select anything on a web browser the current selection will be null okay if we select for a, for example from from i html document 2 until to null for example it's on a web browser the text okay from i html document 2 until to null then the current selection will be not equal to null okay if it's not equal to null means if the text is selected okay then we are going to use a nested if statement okay if the range is not equal to null if if the range is also not equal to null if the current selection create a range okay if uh, the range is also not equal to null then we are going to copy the text to our text box give the text box name over here then our text box dot text is equal uh, text is equal range dot text okay this will copy all the text from range dot text uh, the our text box will copy all the text from range dot text okay if the both the selection and range is not equal to null then this will copy the text to our text box okay from range dot txt okay let's try okay i'm going to debug it now i'm going to select the welcome to wikipedia okay welcome to wikipedia then i'm going to uh, click on uh, get the text selected text you can see welcome to wikipedia okay if i select this one from today feature featured article okay if i click on this one then i then you can see from today a future a featured article today's feature article okay like this you can select any text okay if you select all this text you can uh, as you can see it's copied all the text okay now this tutorial is ended over here okay this is uh, uh, basics of uh, ms html okay reference you can work with this uh, ms html uh, reference it's very useful okay
you can uh, you can make many things with this okay thank you for watching this tutorials end it over here see you in next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like like my videos and com leave your comments about these tutorials and i will try to make it better okay thank you very much